I received a request to explain Hemi engines and how they're different from any other engine. So, in the early 1900s, most engines had a piston cylinder design like this. It was called flathead design. And the bad thing about it was that there was a small amount of volume and a large surface area within the cylinder head. So, the Hemi is a hemispherical cylinder head. That's where the name originates. And what it does is maximizes volume and it minimizes surface area. Now, the reason you want to do this is because with a minimal surface area, you can lessen the amount of heat that you lose. Now, all that surface area is going to absorb heat in combustion. And the more heat it absorbs, the less power your engine has. That heat is what creates the power. So, you want to reduce that, the, the losses of heat. And so that's what the, the goal of this was, and it was a more powerful engine because of that. And the combustion improved also because they placed the uh, spark plug directly in the center, and it had better combustion. Now, one of the downsides was is that it was difficult to get a high compression ratio, and a compression ratio is essential to having an efficient engine. So what they did, they revised this uh, design and they curved the piston so that the piston had kind of hemispherical uh, outline on top here. Now the problem with this was that it was too much weight. You've got that inertia force moving up and down, up and down, and your your crank has to overcome this. This is a large force to overcome. So that was a poor poor design. So they revised that once again, and the hemispherical engines that there are today really aren't too similar to this. Uh, in a sense they are, but they've really flattened this hemisphere so it's not quite as defined as you see here. Now, the reason they've done this is to overcome these, these issues with this. Now, what happened is this flame will ignite here and then it's got this large distance to travel. It's got to go all the way down and expand out in here, and that was difficult to do. So you wanted a more compact uh, combustion chamber. Now, what do most cars today have? Well, most cars today are going to be using a pent roof design, and uh, there's many reasons for that. It's actually a, a better design. Now, a pent roof design is like a triangle here, and it allows you to have four valves per cylinder. Now, think of a dome, like half of a sphere here, and you want to put four valves in it. I mean, it's very difficult to do. Your, your valve positionings are going to be very awkward. With the pent roof design, it makes it real simple. They just line them up, and you can have four valves per cylinder. Now, with four valves per cylinder, you're going to have better airflow. Another benefit of the pent roof design is that you can have overhead cams. And uh, I've got an additional video um, explaining the differences between dual overhead cams, overhead cams, and uh, overhead valves, or push rod design, which this Hemi engine will use. It'll use a push rod, um, which that's more inertia that you have to overcome. There's, there's problems with that. So this is really the best design, and it's pretty much what all cars are going to if they're not there already. Um, now, the current Hemis, like the 5.7 uh, Hemis that are in the SRT8s, uh, now, the design inside, if you're looking up at the cylinder head, it's going to look like this, where this is your intake valve, here's your exhaust valve, and they're going to have two spark plugs. Now, two spark plugs is pretty unusual for an engine, so you might be wondering, well, why would they do that? Well, the true story is that with one spark plug in the center, Chrysler engineers were having difficulty having the engine meet emission standards in the United States. So they had to put two spark plugs, one over here and one over here. Well, it'd actually be like front to back, but you can think of it like there and there. And the reason they did that is because it's, it's going to complete combustion better. If you have two points igniting the fuel, it's going to take it up a lot quicker than if you just have one and it has to spread throughout, which was a problem they were having. And so by adding that second spark plug, they improved their emissions and met U.S. standards and can sell the engine on the market. So that's the basics of a heavy engine, just means a hemispherical uh, cylinder head. And pretty much what you're going to want is a pent roof design. They're more efficient, have better airflow, and they allow for four valves, a cylinder, and overhead cams.